Hello there everybody, Pokepone here, and so today I'm playing BTD Battles, in which I began with a uh, attack shooter, and then after a while, actually by uh, round 4, I ended up getting a second attack shooter, and then after a bit after that, uh, I ended up uh, getting a Dartling Monkey, because I was worried about losing health, and uh, I actually did lose uh, a singular health point, but... Uh, yeah. Then after that, I got the Boomerang Monkey, the Bomb Tower, uh, the Glue Gunner. I then, uh, continued, uh, playing before deciding to get a Boomerang Monkey, which was going to be unstoppable, and didn't let a single balloon pass until this one singular balloon just sort of waltzed its way out until, uh, Tech Shooter killed it. Or, wait, no, that might have been Boomerang Monkey, but... Anyways, I continued throughout the rounds before getting to the regrow balloons, which were honestly not that much of a challenge. Before deciding to uh, get the glue gunner, which shoots out like spats of uh, glue and uh, can over time be upgraded, but just for like the moment, just sort of slowed down the balloons, which didn't really uh, do much to help. So I decided to get a second glue gunner to try to help. And with two glue uh, gunners, it was going to be, like, really cool and stuff. But just imagine if I had, like, an army of glue gunners, which I didn't actually uh, do. But still would have been really cool if I had. And uh, then I got the ice monkey, which would have been really awesome if I had that army of glue gunners, which was actually two glue gunners, plus that ice monkey. And that would have been totally awesome sauce, but I did not actually use the ice monkey uh so nothing actually happened, uh, which was a bit boring. But then I upgraded the boomerang monkey and the glue gunner, which was pretty cool, before the uh, camel balloon came. And that thing just blazed all the way throughout the thing and would eventually lose uh, three health from the camel balloon. So that was uh, fairly annoying to lose even more health. So I decided to get a dart monkey and upgrade it with advanced eyesight so that now it could actually see things, uh, which was pretty cool. Then the purple balloons came, and uh, nothing really much happened. Then I found out that the boomerang monkey could just dance around a little. Uh, I had no idea that it could just go from left to right to left to right and just sort of do a little dance. I then got the submarine monkey uh, just to realize that I couldn't place it anywhere. So it was just sort of a useless uh, monkey to have, at least for the current moment before I decided to get uh, another dart monkey and upgrade it so that it could see things as well and then get a fourth dart monkey, three of which could actually see things before the lead balloons came and those lead balloons completely went all the way through my defense. I had nothing to prevent it because all of my monkeys were either like glue gunners or had like things that couldn't dent the metal and so that was... Uh, definitely something so i try, started trying to use the powers but that did nothing and so i went all the way from 146 health points to eight health points which was very catastrophic event so i decided to get the bomb tower to hopefully destroy those lead balloons so that they wouldn't come by and luckily they did uh so that means that lead balloons were no longer a difficulty to me anymore and then I uh, got the corrosive glue for the glue gunners so that now they could dissolve the like balloons and stuff, which would have been really helpful with the lead balloons. But I had a brand new plan. I was going to get the buccaneer monkey, which I couldn't place anywhere, but I still thought it was a pretty good investment idea. Then I got a second bomb tower uh, before upgrading it to get bigger bombs which i thought would be a very helpful idea to have with my bomb shooters and then i also got a faster reload so that they would shoot out these like large bombs and be really fast i then i uh, thought i'd get the sniper monkey for future rounds even though i wouldn't currently use it but now there are camo balloons like even more so luckily i had those three guys and so i decided to get triple shot as an upgrade uh, so that I could buy it for all three of them over a bit of uh, time. And then I, after the next round, I uh, decided to get out the sniper monkey because I thought it would be really useful to shoot all those balloons. And it didn't have any XP, but I felt like this guy was going to be 
very helpful for like future stuff i then i uh, got a missile launcher for the bomb tower and then at the next level i decided to get the mortar monkey uh because i thought it would be really helpful to just sort of destroy all those first balloons i then got a second third and a fourth sniper monkey to get four times the shooting power of the sniper monkeys and then i went ahead and got faster firing so that i could get all of the sniper monkeys to shoot even faster than they already Before had the moab decided to just sort of waltz along and it was looking pretty iffy uh until luckily i had all those dart monkeys and all those sniper monkeys just able to de completely destroy the moab and then i decided to get uh camo scene goggles so that the sniper monkeys could also see the uh camo balloons and then got a uh, faster reload for the mortar so that it could shoot faster which i felt like would be very helpful and got full metal jacket for the sniper monkeys for just those other two i then went ahead and got the monkey ace because i thought a monkey going pew pew everywhere was going to be really helpful uh and decided to place it down in the area that i found uh, most suitable for the monkey ace i then went ahead and got shrapnel shots so that all the uh, camo seeing sniper monkeys could like shoot out like extra stuff and also got even faster firing for all of them so that they could so that all the sniper monkeys could shoot even faster which i felt was going to be extremely helpful and got the heli pilot so that they could just sort of fly around and decided to place it before getting the quad dart so that it could shoot even more darts uh, than it already had and getting the rapid fire for the monkey ace that i had so that then i would be shooting a whole lot more darts than i already had been shooting before getting some uh, extra monkey money and going ahead and getting five more of the monkey aces because i thought even more bullets would help and uh then i eventually got sharper darts for the monkey aces and i couldn't afford upgrading all of them but over time i was going to uh it was all part of my plan i was going to get a whole bunch of monkey aces to just completely bombard the screen i then went ahead and upgraded the uh helicopter monkey so that it would have faster darts and uh upgraded the martyr so that it would have rapid reload so that means that it'd be even faster than it had before and hit level 14 and unlocked a monkey that i wasn't going to be able to use before deciding to get lots more bullets and a centered path so that then i could get a whole lot more bullets and put them anywhere and then i went ahead and unlocked even faster firing for the sniper monkeys which was going to be a much more expensive uh than normal cost for the upgrade but it was going to be worth it and decided to get bigger blasts for the mortar so that it would be able to shoot even larger blasts than it already had been before even the game said that i should go outside which i need to play more so i did not follow the game's instructions because i do not think a game should dictate my life even though it sort of is already but then i got uh some magical monkeys and decided to get super monkey because superman and i thought that would be really helpful to have superman and then over time i finally got out superman to hopefully do a lot of damage against all the balloons i uh, which it did, but there are also other monkeys. Like the glue gunner, I got even better like glue stuff for it. And ended up upgrading it even further than it already had been upgraded. And I then went ahead and got the alchemist money key because I wanted to break bad. Uh, but I did not actually break bad. I didn't get the alchemist monkey. I then decided to uh, think about upgrading the sniper monkeys even further by getting a uh, large caliber and deadly precision because i felt like those would do a whole lot more damage to all of the uh balloons that were popping out and got a fifth sniper monkey before on the 60th of 60 rounds this giant red moab just sort of popped out of nowhere 
and uh, luckily I was able to destroy it relatively quickly and was able to succeed in winning uh, but I wanted to continue so I went ahead through free play and kept on playing for at least maybe like three rounds uh, before a whole sword of balloons just sort of came along and didn't kill me but got really close and then a second sword of balloons came along and also got really close but did not actually kill me and then the third uh, sword of balloons came along and did actually kill me so the third one did kill me but anyways thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe and other than that bye